Today, we're gonna to talk about Pides and our new clutch. We didn't update you on it yet, so we're gonna do that now. Coming up. Coming up. We're doing a little mail call real quick. Uh, we really appreciate people sending us stuff. I know we're doing a lot of sticker trades and sometimes people just send us cool things. So um, we're gonna do a quick open up here and check it out. And it's stickers. And this is from Nubian Exotics. Nubian Exotics. And here's a, a cool dude here. Uh, these guys are all over Instagram. You should check them out. Um, this one looks like an interesting uh, picture, so um, we're gonna hang it up on our on our incubator. And we really appreciate it. Thank you guys for sending us out some stickers. And we also got South Sound Snakes. South Sound Snakes. See that seven times fast. South Sound Snakes. Um, they sent us stickers as well. South Sound Snakes and the South Sound Snakes Here's logo. South, there, South. Everywhere, South, South. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I like South Sound. You guys are awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for that. And then we got one more thing that came in the mail. This is from our buddy over at Hardwired Exotics. Tony, thank you very much. And it's a couple t-shirts. What? So, uh, let's see here. Is that a pied on that t-shirt? Yeah, it is a pied. What a coincidence. We're gonna talk about pieds in a second. Yeah. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. I guess I should probably put it on, huh? Let me see if I can get it to just kind of stick. The old sucking pop. Seemed to stick pretty good. <laughs> All right. Can't even see the sticker with your beard in the way. Is there a sticker? <laughs> there is. Hey. So thanks, Tony. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so let's get on to looking at some pies. Hi, Hi everybody. <laughs> We have this pie clutch that hatched out a little while ago. We never showed you that video, but now they've eaten and shed, so we're gonna give you an update on that. But before we get to that, let's show you them hatching. Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Brian. I'm real excited about being here. So, uh, all right, we're going on a trip, and we have a, actually, this is our last clutch for the year in the incubator, for the last uh, 2019. Everything else is gonna be a 2020. Um, but it's gonna hatch while we're away. We're gonna be away for like 10 days. So just, it's a little earlier than we like to cut, but we're gonna cut them just so we know that they have slits that they can get out. I don't wanna really mess around with them a lot, but this is a possibility to be pieds. So we could see if they're pieds real quick. I just don't wanna mess around too much with them. Just gonna make sure that we come back none of them got trapped in the egg. So the pairing was a firefly hip pied that we produced from a visual pod, so we know that it's hepi. And uh, a hepi female, the one that we've been telling you about that took eight, eight years to sexually mature, apparently. I don't know, but she finally gave us eggs, so hopefully we get some pie. Everything's gonna be 50% pied, unless she proves out, and it'll be 66% pied, right? If I have my percentages right, you're the math guy. Correct. Thank you. You're gonna talk about that the one moldy one? This is a blue bag. It's fine. It was the one that molded out. I took it out. So you can see a little bit of schmuckus right there. But it's fine. So here we go, real quick. Let's knock this out. Normally they would come apart easier. We usually cut like eight days early. This is like 12 days early, 
I think. And we've seen people cut like 50 days early. But you have to be really, really careful and know what you're doing. It was like a science experiment almost. But uh, again, this does not hurt the snakes. These are well developed um, dimpling already. So it's not going to be a big deal. We're not going to cut a whole lot in there, but. It's the one on the top we do. All right? Sounds like a plan. This is the belly for a pied. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want a lot of this uh, fluid to come out, so I don't, you know. It's something, it's not a normal, but look, it goes past out at least. It's gonna be a little hard to see on the camera, but we're gonna do the best we can. Ryan, what is a boob egg? The part of the egg that wasn't calcified. Look like it might be a fire. It's hard to tell because they're gonna change a lot in color. That one looks lighter than normal, so. I wouldn't call this like an actual cutting video. This is just for our own peace of mind while we're away. And what do you mean by that they'd be trapped in their eggs? So sometimes, I don't want to get into the controversy at all, but sometimes they can be born without egg teeth or get, or even be born with an egg tooth, but like just have a hard time getting out of the egg. And, um. What's best at the moment? Where's the egg tooth set? Right on the nose. So. It's to show us. It's like, mm. If my face were to look like a snake, it would be like right there. <laughs> um, I've even seen them where they have a egg tooth, but they can't cut through the, the egg for some reason. It's too hard or there's something blocking the way or they make slits, but still somehow get all turned around and they just don't make it out. So anything that I can do to not have a snake, I'm happy to do. That one's really, that one's a pied. Uh, it could be the belly, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's definitely pied. Uh, that's a, gotta be a pied, right? Look how white it is, because that doesn't look like the belly there. Can't yes, see anything camera. on it though. Like there, I don't see any pattern, so. It looks like a, it's got potential, I guess. So our pied female was really a. Fire uh, female. Fire hip pied. <laughs> she is not fire. It clears. It's a black eyed leucistic. Hopefully it's still pied. It's kind of tricky. Uh, it was pretty normal. Maybe fire. And of all the snakes we've produced, can you believe we've never produced a visual pied yet? I can believe it, because we haven't. <laughs> I was talking to the people out there in the real world. We're in this fake movie world. We're in the movie world now. It sounds like somebody's jumping up and down upstairs. And oh, that white looks as well. pretty white as well. One looks pied, uh, definitely pied. Like it looks pastel pied, yeah, or bad. maybe even a firefly pied. Cool. Wow, that would be really cool. But yeah. All right, so we're not That's gonna cool. mess with them too much, but that would be awesome. awesome. Hopefully, it's a female. So we were hoping to hit 25% uh, of them to be pies. I think would be the odds. Um, looks like there may be two or three. So, but we won't know anywhere near for sure until we'll put these guys back in the incubator and hopefully everything continues to go well while we're away. 
and we'll show you guys some new babies when we get back. So we produced a Firefly Het Pie male a few years ago and we finally got our Het Pie girl to breed. So we had an opportunity to prove them out and it worked out well actually. And I'm going to show you what we got. We'll kind of start out from the most least to most. So this is a female 66% head pied. Really nice tracks. So this a lot of people will say that these black railroad tracks they call them on the bellies are a pied marker to if you're not sure if it's a pied that's a way like a lot of het pieds have that um, it's not 100 percent but it's a good indication that it might be just in case you don't know we have a broad spectrum of people in different phases of their reptile keeping so i'd like to give extra info when we can you are ornery this is a female fire 66% head pied who is upset. Very pretty. Let's see what else we got here. We have like every step of the combos here. This is a Firefly 66% head pied female. A Firefly is a mixture of pastel and fire. Really cool, nice looking Firefly. Now we got this female Pastel pied, very high weight. And then we got this pair. It's a male and a female firefly pieds, which are awesome, super bright. Man. They are real cool. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the pie gene, the pied is a recessive gene, which means you need two copies in each of the parents to produce a pied. What it will do is it'll take large patches of the pattern and turn it white, which may be obvious to some of you, but maybe not totally to others. Um, like I said, it's recessive. You can have, um, we produce these from Hetz, but it's a little difficult to do. It's one in four eggs is the odds from head to head. Um, if you have visual pods like these, they will 100% of the time pass on one copy of the gene. So if you do pied to pied, everything should be pied. If you do pied to head, 50% of them will be pieds, 50% of them will be heads. Um, they're really cool and recessives like this tend to hold their value longer because it takes longer for you to develop the projects. You can't just take a head and put it to a bunch of stuff and get pies you know you have to be strategic and it takes longer and quite frankly these are beautiful so I can understand why they hold their value but yeah that's pies we have a lot of pie projects going on here now <laughs> we did until this year we got bought a lot of pie stuff for some reason we were lagging on that but you should see some cool stuff coming out of R&B reptiles with pods and double recessive kind of projects. So stay tuned for that. So this is what a normal pod would look like. This is a, what would be considered a low white pod. It doesn't want to be on camera apparently. You can see the 
pine breaks up, throws these white patches. But you'll notice how dark the saddles are and defined. Whereas when you start adding pastel and fire into them, it brightens it up, makes it orange and yellow. There's different kind of varieties of that. This is another female pied. You can see it's a lot more white. It's a lot more orange. So there's a, lot, a good bit of variation in regular pieds as it is. You can have it as almost completely white with just pattern on the head. You can have it almost completely covered in pattern and you'll only be able to see by this weird pattern distortion that it's actually pied. So some people like a lot of white, some people like a lot of pattern. Whatever you're into, there's an option when it comes to pies. So there you go. So speaking of pies, you guys may know that we got this beauty from Miguel. This is a Hep Pied. This is a pastel, orange dream, enchi, yellow belly, leopard, genex, Hep Pied. So it's a lot, Hep Pied. <laughs> and he's getting to the age where he'll be able to breed. So we're keeping a good track on his weight and seeing if he's producing sperm plugs and he'll be in our breeder rotation soon. He's already 610 grams, wow. So males can start breeding. I mean, <laughs> we've heard stories of males breeding at like 300 grams, which is crazy to think of a snake half the size breeding. But normally like 500, 600 grams is a good weight to start out a male with small females not you know 4,000 gram females <laughs> so we're trying to see if we can get him going and what we do when we try to see if he's producing sperm is we'll pop him and usually if he is you'll see a little white hard plug looking thing on top of his peens which is called a sperm plug and that will clue you in to whether or not he's sexually reproductive and uh doesn't look like he's there quite yet, but he's probably getting close. So we're really excited to get him into our pod stuff this year. Uh, so fingers crossed, uh, say a little prayer for us. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be making some really awesome pod stuff with him. Thanks, Miguel. Thank you so much guys for tuning in today. I just wanted to remind you of a few things. First of all, if you like our videos, give it a like and give us a subscribe too because that would help us out a lot. Hit the notification bell. I promise I won't sing to you. <laughs> anyway, also on the 27th of December, 2019 is our dinner at Mission Barbecue. We put the information out on our Facebook and put it on the YouTube chat channel. Um, so please show up and hang out and have fun talking about reptiles with other reptile breeders local in the area uh, We can deliver pro cocoa for you there So if you need to get some bedding for your animals, let us know ahead of time and you'll get free delivery free delivery to the dinner. Free delivery to the dinner Yes Also, we're giving away a bunch of stickers still Ben really wants people to text him check out our last video for more details the video on Tuesday. The video on Tuesday. Last Tuesday. The one right before this, I think. Is that right? Mm -mm. No. No. Yeah, it says it in the title. Free stickers, text Ben. <laughs> See ya. So what if we did a little, uh, like, a bit about recreation, like how we, you know, help stimulate our snakes by doing like, I know people said that I shouldn't dance anymore, but dancing with our snakes, like, isn't that something that should be done? I mean, sounds like enrichment to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You I don't, do I can't, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to dance to, with snakes. I don't know how to dance really at all, but. Um, I know a lady that can teach you. Yeah. Maria de la Pena. Yeah, it's true. Where you at, DTG? And she's 
Going to Tinley this year. You gotta teach Ben how to dance with snakes. Yeah. I don't know if I can do the whole belly thing, but... You can do it. And... <laughs> I'll buy them right now, those belly bells. This is our Enchi Butter. Come on. I just wanna dance with you. Why do animals not like me? Oh, no means not. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good bit to do. <laughs> <laughs>